All right, you guys. So here is my oversized couch or recliner right here. Look how big it is. Now, as I mentioned, my downstairs is not too, too big. Um, you figure we have our bikes over here. And then we do have like our little gym situation, which Jamez has been using very, very often. Um, now that we are no longer going to the gym, of course, he can't work out right now because of his uh, deviated septum surgery, uh, which we'll have to update you guys on that. But you see, it's not a lot of room. Uh, I'm going to end up throwing... Okay, I got... <laughs> you guys probably remember this from years and years ago. I got this one and I got one upstairs. This one, the the spinner works for the dryer type situation. And the one upstairs works for the um, situation for the washing. And I'm just like at the point where I'm just like, Candace, just go to... <laughs> Uh, throw these things out. You haven't used them in probably like over a year. Just continue to, you know, go to the laundry mat. You know, back in the day, I was just trying to cut costs. And especially, I had that before the um, pandemic. But yeah, I plan on uh, throwing that one out and the one upstairs. Um, we have like, a, this used to be Jamez's TV stand. Um, but now he has a different TV stand. Um, so I, versus throwing things out, you guys, I try to repurpose it. So um, I got a lot of stuff over there. <laughs> but the girls' treats go over there. Um, if we get oodles and noodles, that goes over there. Plus my uh, laptop and printer is over there. And that big bag right there, this one and that one, is just full of plastic bags that I like to use for the little small garages that we have upstairs in our rooms and in the garden. Uh, in the um what is it and in the um bathroom uh what else that right here uh, it's like a little um what is that called it's a little vacuum and the vacuum part doesn't work but the handheld still works so yeah, <laughs> I may keep that, but throw out the, uh, the handle. Um, what else? And then, of course, we have, like, our little dining situation. As you guys could probably see, the reason why I don't really buy, like, a dining room set, it's not a big space at all. And it's just me and Jamez for the most part, <laughs> unless my sister and my nephew come. But really, it's not necessary um, and this has been piling up stuff over here. So you figure, um, these are boxes that I need to throw out. We got tissues over there. My sister bought us like, um, what is this called? Like a beach canopy thingy. And these are like oatmeal and a box right there. So it's like a box for the kettle. These are our extra chairs. So just to give you an overview of what we look what we're looking at down here, as I mentioned, looking at the chair options, it's not a lot of room down here. Okay. Like we still want to be able to walk through. I still want my son to be able to work out. You know, we got the bikes. We can't put those anywhere. We're not gonna put them outside. <laughs> Don't want to get them one. I mean, we live in a good area. I doubt it will get stolen. Um, but plus I don't want it to get rusty. Uh, so yeah, you figure that's something that we have to, you know, consider and you figure down there is just a whole bunch of workout stuff over there too. Okay. So onto the couch. So this is my side. This is Jamez's side. Now we've had this since May, May of 2017. The couch was basically $800. I ended up getting a, um, I ended up getting a $200 like unlimited lifetime warranty, which I've never used until recently, like in September. You guys remember where I've told you that like I spilled something on there and honey had a little accident. So my side was this one side right here was smelling like spoiled milk after I tried to clean it. And it was like that for a month until until we had somebody come out. 
Um, and basically what they sprayed on it was the Resolve urine. You remember uh, the you <laughs> Res Re Resolve spray, but the pet urine one. And that thing completely took away the smell. And I'm like, that's all that I needed? I waited a whole month. I couldn't sit on my side. I didn't have my sister come visit because... All you had to do was spray that. I thought for sure I was going to be able to get my couch replaced, but that wasn't the case. Uh, give me one, give me one moment. All right, so let me show you this really quick, okay? Obviously, on Jamez's side, let's start here first. This has been like this for years. Now you figure Jamez hardly sits downstairs with me anymore, <laughs> okay? He's always upstairs. He hardly comes down. So I'm by, down here by myself. But you see this? We have both girls here. Look how much room there is still left for me to sit. Okay? Our TV situation is right here. But look how much room we have left. And this, uh, when this comes up, it's so much space. But you figure, sometimes when, I, when, I, when the couch was going through its situation, <laughs> um, I will put pillows here. Let me show you. I will put pillows here so that the girls can still sit. But you see, it's like, as I mentioned, it's been like this for years, you guys. All right. And let me show you. So you figure this is how big it is. This is how my side is as well. Okay. Very, very nice and spacious. I love it. I love it for me and my girls to relax and whatever. You know what I mean? Look at this. I can have one of them up at my feet, both of them up at my feet, and have the whole back for myself. And it reclines. Oh, I love this couch a lot. The other thing is, is back here. You see this? I don't know if you guys can see. Look at that. You see how far back it goes? Like, down here, you probably can't see. Let me... Okay, so back here, it uh, the support is, is gone. Like, when you sit down, you can feel, like, the wood back here. Like, there's, like, a wood thing back here. And it just, this just goes to show, like, how, look at that. And I, this is already pushed back. Look. It's already pushed back. See? All right, so we have that. <laughs> All right, now my side, I'm going to just uh, remove. Uh, so this is our co one cover. I usually put this here, got this one, and a long like body pillow that I no longer use. And the reason why is because, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. Like, it's... It's no longer, look how, you see how it indents. Now, we've had this since 2017, but when the girls sit here, this is wood. This right here is wood. It's basically this wood right here. So, that's why I have those two things. So, when the girls want to sit there, they're not really feeling the wood. And as I mentioned, this part is like saggy, okay? And I am not... <laughs> trying to justify I am not trying to justify me wanting to get a new couch I'm just sharing with you guys my situation and this has been like this for years um before I used to just use this for like my back but as you guys can see once I show you a little bit more it has gotten worser <laughs> So, I have another body pillow, and I keep this body pillow back here for me. So, we have that. <laughs> Hold on. We used to use this back there, or I used to use this. I used to use this little thin thing right here. But this just shows you over time <laughs> how much... The chair uh, has lost its, um, I mean, we've had it since 2017. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. It's been five years, okay? So this is what we just used to use right here. And obviously, <laughs> this is not sufficing covering up this. Um, it's still intact, unlike 
Jamez's is no longer intact. Um, okay. So, as I showed you this pillow already. So, this is like a, something that my sister gave me. It's a weighted blanket. Very, very nice, but it keeps you really cool. Let me turn this off. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it keeps you really cool, though. But it's a weighted blanket. So, what I've been doing recently was putting it back here. And you guys will see why. Okay? Now, this is my handy-dandy like it's a seat cover you know but i was like oh this is how i i improvise right i improvise because i'm like i really love this chair <laughs> i really really do but sometimes you just got to get things up right so if you remove this i don't know if you guys can see yeah you can see look how far back that is do you see this it's like nothing is there the stuffing is in the back some of the stuffing has fallen out over the years and we don't really move the couch before the couch used to be laid out this way and then we finally put it up against the wall um and you would think it would be weird to watch tv but no because i'm already laying down and i'm looking this way so it works really really good um my son told me to put the chair this way and it's been like this for years but do you see this like this part still good still still good but back here it's like all of the support this right here is just basically springs just springs there's no more stuffing here no more stuffing <laughs> so i don't know if you guys can see how far back this goes and then you figure when you sit down you don't have any back support and down here it's really really it still has, I will say, it still has stuffing down here. It really does. But between here and up here, look at this. Oh, you guys can't see the in-depth. Let me see something. No, you, can you see that? I don't know if you guys can really see that. But yeah, this is what I've been dealing with for years. But I love it. Me and my girls, this is our spot. <laughs> This is my spot right here, y'all. I love it so much. But, but places, I went back to the same place where I bought it from. Give me a moment. All right, so I went back to the place. On Black Friday, I went to two stores. One store I just went to by myself. Um, and then Jamez called me just to see where I was at. And I was like, hey, you want to, you know, go to a furniture store with me? He was like, sure. Um, so we went to a second furniture store. That second furniture store, we seen two chairs. I'm going to put input pictures here. Um, the first one, like, as I mentioned, I have a very small place. I don't want to be taking up my whole downstairs because, once again, we have bikes over there. We have our little workout station. And we have, like, a little table back there, right? Now, as I mentioned, I will be getting rid of those washers, the one upstairs and the one down here. So, we will be getting rid of that. But, like, I didn't... That smaller one, it was comfortable. And it was a good price. So, you figure $499. And then you figure to get it delivered, probably another, it shouldn't be $100, but putting it out there, you know, everybody trying to get paid another $100 to get it uh, sent to us or sh like driven to us, which is no more than five miles away from us, okay? <laughs> um, but so be it. Um, I was like, ooh, Jamez, we should rent a, a U-Haul and maybe you could bring it in ourselves, which we can, we can, but... Um, Jamez's doctor, uh, the nose specialist, was like, they don't want him lifting more than 10 pounds up until, like, Thursday of this upcoming week. So, I want to follow through with that. I really, really do. Um, yeah. Because um, I don't want that to prohibit his healing process. Um, but, if we do get the new couch, then who's going to help me bring this one out? <laughs> outside um i could probably do it myself it's um not too heavy it's not too heavy i could probably just put it outside like in our on our patio until he gets better and then we can bring it to the dumpster we'll see how this all works out um so yeah y'all um 
what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So when I went to the place, uh, oh, so let me tell you, when I had went to the first place by myself, you know, back to the original place where I got the couch, this couch from, they were like, she's like, you seen anything you like? I will say they didn't really haggle me a lot. The lady was like, I'm gonna let you do your thing, but just know I'm here if you need, if you have any questions she only came up to me once just to make sure i was okay i sat down in a lot of chairs you guys at this place first and foremost they were expensive <laughs> okay expensive and none, none of them was catching my eye now the second store that we went oh and while i was there give me a moment while i was there when i walk i was going out she's like you have um any questions i'm like yeah i said back in 2017 so basically five years ago uh i had bought i have a couch that's oversized it's an oversized recliner where i can sit down and have my dogs on i said my dogs aren't too big but there's room for all of us to sit down and uh she's like yeah i remember that that you know because it was like um this it was like a sectional type of thing so they had this one and they had like couches and she's like yeah we haven't had any oversized ones in years you know and i was like she's like i think that's going to be hard to come past nowadays and i'm like okay understood because a lot of the things i was sitting down in y'all a lot of the things i was sitting down in they were just so tiny. Now, I'm a big person, but even if you were a tiny person, it's not enough room for two dogs to be on there. Your dogs will still have to sit on your lap. And I'm like, we don't do that. <laughs> we don't do that. Um, they hardly sit on my lap, you know. Um, they sit on the side of me and then by my feet because of how big the couch is, you know. And so, yeah, that was that. Um, so then, uh, you know, I ended up picking up John as We went to the second store. And, you know, we sat down in a lot of the chairs, a lot of them. Now, of course, I was looking at price and I was looking at, you know, comfortability um, and size. Size is a big factor, okay? I'm not trying to have a crowded downstairs. I want it to be homey, but not too bad. Like, when my sister comes, she sits in, like, our lawn, like, our outside lawn chair type deal <laughs> that we fold out. It's like a gravity chair. She sits in that. And I, don't get me wrong, that chair is comfortable, but that's where she sits at. Um, she's like allergic to honey. Honey gets everybody, a, honey's a fur. She's like that type of dog. But my sister, she's gotten used to my dog, so she doesn't have like too bad of an allergic reaction, nor does my nephew. But honey, she's the, uh, the dog that everybody's allergic to. Um, but she doesn't sit on my couch because, you know, the girls are up there now it's clean it doesn't smell but just you know having that on her clothes and if we go somewhere dog hair is up there don't get me wrong like my dogs i let for me my dogs can sit up there on the couches because i don't have company coming over you guys i don't <laughs> okay so my prerogative is like i don't care if my dogs come up there with me i actually like it um so yeah so she doesn't sit on my couches my nephew sits on the side couch and when my sister's over if Jamez comes down, he can sit, he usually probably sits on the stairs where I'm at right now. Um, or he sits at the kitchen. But most of the time, my son's upstairs playing his game. He comes down to get food. He converses. Now, if we go out somewhere, then he's with us. But at the end of the day, there's like only three people here. She sits in the lawn chair or she sits at the table and those like other chairs, which aren't too comfortable. And you figure when she's here for hours, it's just like, uh, eh, sis, you sure you don't want to sit on the couch? But at the same time, at the same time, the couch, even on Jamez's side, has lost its comfortability. You know what I mean? If you're sitting all the way back, if you don't have something back there, you know, it can kind of hurt your back <laughs> or your lower back, you know? So I understand. I understand. I've had it for five years. I don't want to get rid of it. I've asked people, like, you know, just in general at the at the uh, places, at two of the places I went to, I only went to three furniture stores. The the third store and the first store, I asked them, like, how much do you think it costs to get things upholstered? Because I'm like, I would love to keep this couch. I really would, you guys, because it's that good. The mechanisms still work just fine. And they were like, to be honest, 
because furniture is cheaper now they said it's cheaper now than it was before i doubt that but they were like you're probably going to pay more getting that reupholstered versus just buying a new set you know and i'm like really now these are two separate people two different stores and i'm just like are they just trying to sell me you know a couch and trying to get commission off of me or is this reality because i have never had anything upholstered but that was in the back of my mind for years like getting it upholstered um so anyways uh going back to this i'm sorry i went to the second store we seen so we seen um that little small um we seen that little small sectional okay i figured hey that would be good it's nice enough it's small enough whereas i can have one girl sitting up here and one by my feet you know um and it was what four hundred ninety nine dollars, and you figure you tag on an extra hundred dollars, and then with taxes, you're probably looking around six hundred fifty dollars. Okay, it was comfortable, nice, nice size, nothing too big or drastic. And Gemma is like, yeah, I like it. You know, he was like, yeah, mom, it's, it's good. You know, he was like, yeah, it's good. And then we seen another couch. Now this couch was a love seat and a couch. Um, and that set was $899. Now this one was just a couch and a love seat. And it was com it was comfortable. It was comfortable. And I'm like, ooh, but I'm like, we don't need an additional, we don't need the love seat, you know? So I was I told the guy, I said, so how much would it be for half? Like for just the couch? He I said, would it just be half of the price? Because you're figuring 450 bucks, right? 450 bucks. Slice that in half, right? And he was like, no, it will be a little bit more because that price includes you getting both sets. So that comes at a, a little bit more of a discount. So I'm thinking probably what five hundred dollars just for the couch, and it doesn't have any type of mechanisms or anything like that. It's, it's just a plain couch and i'm just like yeah never mind and uh so you figure what 550 plus tax of 50 bucks that's 600 dollars, and then delivery 700 dollars. i'm like um so in the back of my head i was still thinking about that little small sectional um more bang for my buck i'm thinking right i'm like it's not too big but at least you know the girls can sit on one side. Jamez is always sitting upstairs, <laughs> you know, on his game when my sister comes over. And basically, anytime I'm we're home, I sit downstairs. We're on the couch. Me and my girls, we're on the couch. And I'm like, it was it would suffice. And then when my sister comes over, there will be at least room for her and my nephew. But of course, we'll all be sitting forward. You know what I mean? And I'm like, uh, okay, cool. It will still make do because I'm not I'm not trying to buy things for other people. I'm buying things for me and what makes sense. So the smaller couch made sense, but when you have company over, if you're all sitting on the same side, it's just like, uh, <laughs> you can't really look at each other unless you're turning like this, you know, or if she sits like that and I'm sitting like that, it will work, but my nephew probably would be right in the middle of us, right? So I'm like, okay. Okay, so the following day, because, oh, we we were uh, going to go to this third store. But by the time we got there, it said that the store was, like, the doors were closed and the lights were off. But it said they were supposed to still be open. So I'm like, you know what? I'll, you know, go there another day. So the following day came. They were open. And I went in. And um, that section that sectional number one was right there it was the first thing i seen when i walked in and i automatically said oh my goodness it's not too big it's a sectional they call it a cuddle cuddle sectional so like versus it being like a regular a regular l shape it like it curves it curves in like this you know so it's like a cuddle and that cuddle section is it's like a three it's like two parts you have the the regular part and then that little cuddle section so it's easier to maneuver as well so it's not one piece so i'm like that's awesome that's awesome so i'm like 898 dollars oh and it comes with the ottoman this is what i'm thinking right and i'm like oh this is excellent and it's comfortable 
And let me tell you, that cuddle section is perfect for me and my girls. So I can sit all the way back. My feet dangles off by like this much when I sit all the way back. It's like, and it's, that one section is good for me and my girls to really relax, like how it is with this couch. So I asked the guy, I said, this one is $898. He's like, yeah. I said, I asked him, I said, was it on sale for Black Friday? He said, no, we actually just got this one in not so long ago. But no, he said, this is not part of the deal. And I said, oh, this is not a bad price. And he's like, um, yeah, just let you know, we only got one of those ottomans left. That's the only ottoman we have. And I'm like, huh? Because I really like the ottoman. I said, he said, that's extra. I'm like, how much extra? He says, it's usually around like $300. And I'm like, for an ottoman? He said, but I can give it to you probably like $100, $200. So you figure the chair is $900. $900. And then the ottoman would be like an extra $150, $200. So you figure... Now you're looking at $1,100. And I'm like, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> but it's really, really nice. Like, price-wise, not what I want. But the functionality of it is there because it's more than enough room. My son was like, Ma, because I was, I was in the store by myself first. But then I ended up picking up my son. I sent him pictures. And he was like, yeah, I like it. And um, my sister said she liked it. And my son... So I ended up picking him up later and we like measured things out and um, he was like, mom, if we all sat downstairs, we could all comfortably, comfortably sit on this couch. And I'm like, that's so true. Like comfortably sit, you guys. And I was like, that's so true, Jabez. But anyways, I was, you know, <clears throat> I sat on a lot of couches, the couches that I knew could fit kind of in our apartment. You have seen it's not much. So, anyways, I was sitting on some other stuff, you know. I was looking at love seats, love seat, love seat recliners. And I'm like, ooh, like the picture one I showed you. That love seat recliner is they're individual, but they actually rock, you guys. They rock. But at the same time, they're not oversized. So the girls wouldn't have anywhere to sit. You know what I mean? And John Mez like, Mom, they could sit on the floor. And I'm like, I know. But when I'm chilling with my girls and cuddled up, I like it. You know, that's me. I'm like, you don't sit downstairs with me. This is me, you know. He's like, yeah, Mom, but, like, they can sit on the floor. They're dogs. I'm like, I understand. Um, but... So what ended up happening, I was like, ooh, these recliners is nice, you know? Not the couch one, but just the recliner. Even the couch one, you've seen that the uh, the middle folds down. Um, and both of them have, like, um, outlets. So you can plug it into the wall so that you can plug your, uh, I, your like, phone and stuff into the outlet. So that's really, really nice. Um, so I'm like, ooh, I can just get the couch, you know? And I, what I was thinking is that the couch itself was $798. Nope. When I went up to the guy and, you know, he was like, you see anything? I said, I really love this, but I love the ones in the back too, you know. N not as much as number one. But I said, this is a cont those other ones are a contender. He's like, oh, those are on sale. You get the love seat and the couch for $798. I was like, what? <laughs> and, um... So when I got Jamez and we tried him out, he was like, he was really feeling number two, which is the recliner um, with the love seat. He really like, I for me, he like perked up for that. But at the same time, like, where's my dog's gonna sit? You know what I mean? Like, they can't just both be up on me. They can't, you know? Because uh, even if I got the couch, even if I had got the couch and I reclined the one, only one dog can sit right here next to me and one, nobody can sit in like with me. So I'm like, okay. Um, so my mind automatically went back to the first option that I, that I posted and that made perfect sense uh, for me. What's up? Wrong. I like the first one. 
He likes the first one, but Jabez, you're... You keep saying that I like the second one, but I like the first one. <laughs> you do. Okay, so he's coming out to correct me. He uh, says that he really likes number one the, mo the most. Yes. The most. Mm-hmm. But, like, for me, his whole attitude perked up for the, the second one. I don't get excited for couches, so... <laughs> no. <laughs> no? That's what, how I took it. You didn't have enough. Okay, he's saying I'm wrong, you guys. So I'm wrong, and uh, but yeah, I was just like, it's n you get more bang for your buck, right? But I'm like, it's not what I envisioned. And plus, how would we really incorporate having a couch and a love seat down here? You see what I have, what I'm working with, right? And I'm like, even if we had put the the, the couch. On this facing wall where the bench is at, where like the workout and the bikes are at, it really wouldn't be the best because guess what? When, uh, how can I say it? Let me show you. So if we had the couch against this wall, right? We have a wall right here. So... If I had moved the bikes and stuff over this way and we utilize that way because that wall is longer because under here we have um, a door. We have a door for our, what is it called? Like a coat, whatever, like closet down here. So you wouldn't want to like, um, how can I say it? So you wouldn't want to... Um, what is it? You wouldn't want to cover that, right? You want that to still have access. We got coats in there and stuff like that. No, we don't use it too often, but like my stockpile of stuff is in there. And I'm like, I want to keep that door accessible. So I was thinking if we put it against this wall, what we would do is have the couch sit in here. And then when we got the love seat, we'll put the love seat all the, all the way against the wall so that there's only like half of it hanging out. So that we can still kind of walk through this section, okay? But then I'm just like, ah, that's a lot, you know? And I'm like, yeah, I can't really cuddle with my girls. So that's where number two comes, uh, number one comes in play. I'm like, it just seems like it's such a good thing. And I do plan on putting it against this wall, you guys, where this is at. We're going to change everything around. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. Um, he gets in at 12-ish today. But money-wise, y'all, it's money. It's money. It's money. More than I wanted, but you know what? I'm like, Candace, you had this last couch for seven years, uh, five years. It's time to invest again, you know, in another nice couch, you know. It's not going to be a recline. So I'm like, the good thing about this other one is that we don't have to worry about any mechanisms messing up on us, right? What I mean is like the hand, like the, the, the recliner mechanisms these ones work just fine never had any issues but that's these are things that come through my mind and then i'm like candace on top of that the number one my favorite the back is just basically pillows and i'm like you, you can't go wrong with a pillow backing you know what i mean like that would be easier to fix even if i wanted to stuff it so I'm like, at the end of the day, it just seems so much more suitable. Um, I don't plan on purchasing um, the warranty. It's like a five-year warranty for basically $200. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that, to be honest. I'm going to play it safe. Um, but yeah, so that's that's my whole thought process, you guys. That's my whole thought process. You know, we really narrowed it down to four you know things but this one really took the cake and um another guy had came in to cover for the guy that was there earlier that i was speaking with and he said that um that couch in his store is really selling really fast he said yeah we've sold probably like 20 of them so far i'm like really he's like yeah because it's just so nice you know and i'm like wow but he's like we don't have any ottomans in our store though and i'm like ooh. And Jamez has been wanting a rug, okay? Jamez has been wanting a rug for his room. And because um, he works out in his room and he was like, 
like personally I didn't understand why he wanted a rug but I thought he probably wanted to use it for where he's at for like his uh gaming gaming section you know so that he's not on the wood floor with his feet but he's like no he's like he'd rather use it for like in front of his room door and when he works out it will be much more better so when he puts things on the ground it's not so loud you know the weights on the ground I'm like okay that makes sense so there was a clear there was a clearance section of rugs right some of them are like this tall like fluffy and the other ones are just like this thick and it seems like it would be better right and I asked the guy so how much are the clearance ones he was like I can actually give you that to you for free if you buy this you know this one I'm like really I'm like ooh. I asked like how much is it you how much would it be usually he never gave me I don't think you know what I didn't ask him that I asked my I asked that first guy I said how much would it cost for those clearance rugs and he was just like I'll actually give it to you for free if you get this and I'm like okay so when that guy left because we were still there, I asked the second guy, just to kind of get a gist of it, I said, how much would that, <laughs> I said, how much would that be, the rug, you know, the Clarence rug, he was like, um, how much you think, I'm like, I don't know, he was like, name it, and I'm like, I don't know, he was like, I'll, I'll, if you wanted it, I would sell it to you for $49, and I'm like, oh, $49, huh, uh, so it's that's way better than buying it outright, which the rugs were usually like a hundred and something bucks, a hundred and like fifty, hundred and ninety something bucks. So yeah, uh, so yeah, y'all, it's raining. Like I don't think you guys, yeah, you guys can't see the rain. It's coming down, but I think I'm gonna go to the place and uh, get myself situated uh, to buy this thing. And um, I'm very happy, very happy. Um, it's going to be very suitable for us and me and my girls, definitely, because we'll just take up that one section. I'm going to have to show you guys later. Um, but yeah, that's about it, you guys. That's my whole thought process. Yes, it's more money. I'll come back to you and share with you the final price. Um, uh, but I don't know if we'll get it delivered today because it's downpouring. So, and we still got to move this couch. And get this rearranged down here. So, alright, I'm gonna talk to you guys soon. Bye!